Your bedroom is an extremely personal space, and it's important that it is a calming place where you can relax at the end of a busy day. We accumulate a lot of personal items, and some of them usually end up in our bedrooms. Since our day begins and ends in the bedroom, it should be a stress-free haven where we can rest and recharge. Welcome to Jansen's DIY, and here are 10 smart ideas to organize your bedroom. 1. Purging your wardrobe should be done every six months. This prevents your closet from getting a lot of clutter. My rule of thumb is, if I haven't worn it for at least eight months to a year, then it's time to get rid of it. Go through each of your clothes, create two or three piles and label them. My suggestion is to have a keep, charity and repair pile. Hang or fold the clothes under the keep pile according to their function or by color. We get to decide how we should organize our keep pile. Organize it in a way that makes sense to you. I get rid of clothes that don't fit me anymore or I haven't worn in the past few months. Those clothes should be in the charity pile. We can donate these clothes to charity or recycle them. If I had any piece of clothing that I will still want to wear but is in bad need of repair, I place it in a bag labeled repair. Have these items repaired as soon as possible. 2. People tend to have a disorganized closet because their clothes are not properly kept. Being able to keep my clothes the right way is essential if I want to keep my closet organized. Fold the sweaters. When I hang sweaters, they lose their shape. They also have a tendency to snag on hangers, so I stack my sweaters neatly on top of each other. I also break down my closet into various categories. It is different for each individual, but my recommended categories are by length, occasion, season, and color. Though this may seem like a tedious task, this makes it easier for me in the morning when I need to pick my outfit really quick. Drawers should be tidy. It helps to fold clothes horizontally rather than vertically in order to sort them easily. Drawer dividers are a good idea for small items like lingerie, belts, and socks. It's also important to invest in high-quality hangers. There are also different types of hangers for each type of clothing. Use shelves or hang bags to save on floor space. You can also use shower hooks to hang bags. 3. The area around your bed is an unused space. This area can be maximized, especially if you have limited space in your home. The area under the bed is usually an underutilized space. This is an ideal storage area. Use cubbies or baskets to stash bed linens and blankets. I even stash purses and other personal items there. Some beds come with built-in drawers, but we can also repurpose old drawers or baskets. Use headboard space and make it a storage area as well. The best way to do this is to incorporate shelving. Put books and family photos there. I do not allow my nightstands to get cluttered with unnecessary items, so I opt for shelves or drawers where I can keep essentials. If I need more space, a dresser can double as a nightstand. Footboard storage should not be neglected. In order to utilize the space at the foot of my bed, I use a chest or an ottoman. I also keep my out-of-season clothes or my bedroom linens there. 4. Numerous shoes, scarves, belts, and other accessories can create a lot of clutter. To hang necklaces, we could make a pretty patterned shelf and place hooks on it. I use an old elegant dish to keep my rings in. Use a wire mesh to organize both dangling and stud earrings. Hang bangles and bracelets horizontally from rods and use elegant hooks to hang hats, scarves, and bags. If you need extra hanging space, use an industrial coat rack. It's a chic piece of furniture and a useful hanging space at the same time. We could also customize our shoe storage in order to maximize space. Most shoes can be put on shelves, while boots can be hung on shelf hangers. Ties, hair ribbons, and other small items can be separated using honeycomb-style organizers found online or in major home stores. 5. 
Vanity Table is where we do our everyday beauty routine, so it is a breeding ground for clutter. First of all, get rid of the junk. I throw away products that I haven't used in months. The more room we have, the better. Compartmentalize everything. Trays or plastic bins will do the trick. We can also repurpose some containers or jars. Don't stash away the products you use daily, just line them up neatly on the table. Keep perfumes and fragrances on display by using a cake stand or a spice rack. Get a magnetic strip to conveniently keep track of bobby pins and little objects that are always stuck at the bottom of the drawer. 6. We don't have to be stuck with shelves. There are other creative ways to store your personal items. Aside from an ottoman, I also place my unused throw pillows and extra blankets in a deep basket, which can be positioned at the foot of my bed. Use a ladder shelf to put your shoes in. We can even make it ourselves using pine wood planks, L brackets, screws, and a drill. Add a hidden drawer to a floating shelf. We can easily add a secret floating shelf, constructing it from scratch. Take advantage of wonderful storage furniture by using upholstered storage benches, which are perfect for folding extra towels and sheets. Also, take advantage of off-site storage spaces. If there are just too many personal items in our room that we can't get rid of, consider renting an off-site storage unit. 7. The back of our bedroom door is a perfect storage space. The best way to do this is to install hooks behind doors. Prep the surface area on the door by cleaning it with isopropyl alcohol. Remove the hooks or spring clips from the packaging. Carefully follow instructions, then apply it to the desired location. Press the base firmly along the entire strip for 30 seconds. Insert the hook back on the base. Wait for one hour before hanging things like belts, pants, and scarves on the hook. 8. Our nightstand should contain only essential items. Although it is easy for clutter to accumulate on it because it is very accessible from our bed, the top of my nightstand should only contain the following essential items. Lamp, alarm clock, Kleenex box, and a book that I'm currently reading. My nightstand drawer holds toiletries used right before bed, a flashlight, and a mobile phone charger. If needed, add storage solutions, such as a small tray for eyeglasses, watches, rings, etc. 9. Dresser drawers have a tendency to become overloaded and cluttered. When a drawer has too many items, it's impossible to find what we want to wear. I make sure my dresser drawers contain only the following items, underwear and socks, nightgowns and pajamas, t-shirts, sweatshirts, and other similar accessories. Make sure you store pants, sweaters, and silky garments elsewhere, not in your dresser drawers. Add drawer dividers to increase the storage power of our dresser. A dresser top is prime real estate and can be maximized. I usually put a jewelry box, perfume bottles, or small toiletries on top of the dresser. 10. The underside of our bed is breeding ground for dust bunnies, lost items, and other undesirable clutter. Remove items that don't belong under the bed. Take out these things and either throw them away, give them to charity, or recycle them. Thoroughly vacuum the space under the bed, making sure that all the dust is gone. I use flat, wide storage boxes specifically designed for under-the-bed storage. Store out-of-season clothing, rarely worn shoes, and sporting gear under the bed. Periodically declutter things under the bed, ideally every four to six months. And that's all for now. For more organizing tips and cleaning ideas, stay tuned to our channel. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.